Um, tonight, we celebrate the access to success provided for the students and alumni of the Cristo Ray Network. And I stand here tonight and, as an example of what happens when doors are opened and opportunities are presented. When I was asked to speak here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to my first days at Cristo Rey. I, in fact, did not willingly choose to come to Cristo Rey. Nope. That decision was made by my mother. Right, right. And as a young teenager, I fought it. I was raised in Mount Vernon, New York, so coming to Cristo Rey meant leaving all my friends from middle school who were headed to high schools in the Bronx and Westchester. It meant getting up at 5 a.m., the most painful part of the day, uh, to catch the Metro North train down to 125th Street to get to school on 106th Street, right in the hustle and bustle of Spanish Harlem. And it meant not returning home until 6 p.m. at the earliest, and even much later during basketball season. It meant changing so many parts of my everyday life that I didn't necessarily want to change, nor was I ready to change. And I'm sure many of you in this room can say the same. But if there's anyone in this world who knows what's best for me, it is my mother, Elaine Berger Cole. She definitely saw what I couldn't see as an eighth grader, which is the future. And that Cristo Rey, a college prep school, that because of its minimal tuition, we could actually afford. And it would prepare me academically and personally to excel. Regardless of the commute, the new neighborhood, and the entirely, entirely new set of friends, she knew just how important it was for me to attend Cristo Rey and for that, I am forever grateful. At Cristo Rey, New York, I quickly learned to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. Each day, as I walked into that brick building on 106th Street, I was greeted by the Dean of Students, Mr. Gordon, and his firm three-pump handshake. <laughs> I had to learn to adapt to a new culture where being on time did not mean showing up at the designated time, but rather showing up 15 minutes ahead of time. And it meant coming to school in business dress code, seams in the hems of my pants, top button buttoned, and a tie. Or else, and I'm pretty sure the Cristo Rey students can relate to this jug, which is justice under God, which is basically Cristo Rey's name for detention. I might have felt a little bit uncomfortable as a 14-year-old, all buttoned up, but those dress code guidelines taught me that looking your best was not a choice, but a requirement because it shows pride in who you are, who you represent, and what you do. So let me ask all of you this question. Do you know any 14-year-olds who work in corporate offices in New York City? Probably not. Well, I know almost 1,400 of them, students at Cristo Rey, New York. The corporate work-study program was the best part of my high school experience. And he's not here tonight, but I want to shout out Mr. Nick Cherico. Uh, I know Mr. Ryan Shebb is here, Ms. Ann Kelly Kempel, um, Ms. Molly Quinn again. They did a fantastic job of bringing up not only myself, but also my classmates for the class of 2016. Um, but moving forward, starting my freshman year, I was working in a corporate office one day a week, earning a meaningful portion of my education. This is something no other high school students outside of the Crystal Ray Network do. And I learned the skills and the tactics that put me way ahead of my peers. It made me feel important. It made me feel smart. But most of all, it made me feel like I had a purpose. A purpose that even as a young teenager, I could be in the same room as older, wealthier, and more well-educated men and women actually hold my own. When I started at Fairfield, 
From the outside, it was a school that looked very different than what I had gotten used to in East Hall. But then I realized how similar the two were. It was a place where I could continue to grow, personally, academically, and professionally. And just like Cristo Rey, it had some of those Jesuit ideals. I quickly realized that people were going to look out for me. Professors, advisors, administrative workers, Allison and Nikita, thank you. And they were going to help me and meet with me uh, because they were eager to, help, eager to help me in any way possible. And I knew pretty early on in my freshman year that Fairfield was the right choice for me. And although I was no longer a student at Cristo Rey, East 106th Street never felt that far away. The director of graduate support at the time, Ms. Mahalati, and now the director, Ms. Okoda, would come visit me on campus, invite me back for reunions, and even set me up with a mentor, Chris, who has been an integral part of my college experience up to this point. As I'm sure, with the same for all of you in this room, my four years of college are flying by. It's probably because I've been busy the entire time, participating in the economics club, playing club basketball, and being a portfolio manager in the school's investment group, and studying, of course. <laughs> Christa Ray's freshman orientation. Now, during that time, you are assigned a book to read, The Seven Habits of a Highly Effective Teen. But one habit that stuck with me is begin with the end in mind. For me personally, and every Christa Ray student, the end is twofold to graduate from high school and to then graduate from college. Since my high school days as an intern at a financial firm, my end goal has been to work in the financial sector. On May 17th of 2020, I'll graduate from Fairfield University. And as I stand here tonight, I'm proud to say that I won't, go, won't have to go looking for a job. After interning with Lazard this past summer, I was offered a full-time prep education and to enroll in some of the most prestigious colleges and universities around the country. Opportunities to present ourselves well, to speak eloquently, and to take pride in our work. Opportunities to give back to our communities and be, as the school's mission statement reads, professionals for others. So when I think back to that summer before my freshman year, and I fought so hard against coming to Cristo Rey, I now see what my 14-year-old self didn't see. I see the opportunities now, the confidence, and the skills it's given me and other students like myself, and the doors it's opened for all of us. So with that being said, thank you, and it was my pleasure being your master of ceremonies tonight.